Hi everyone, I'm Justice Machiku and I'm going to be talking about the supramolecular assembly of redox protein into nanowires. I work on developing supramolecular assemblies of nanowires for bioelectronics with enhanced sensing and also to further elucidate the physical mechanism of ultra long range electron transfer along the lengths of these nanowires. These nanowires, as you could see from the slides, are made up of two major components, the fusion protein called the small tetrahyme cytochrome and the fibrillating peptide called the Q11. I express and purify the fusion protein, as you could see from the results of the slide, and I also synthesize and purify the Q11, as you could see from the slides shown. I then self-assemble this fusion protein and the Q11 peptide in the ratio of 1 is to 1000 to produce or to give our protein nanowires. Through the transmission electron microscope, AFM and FM, I confirm the presence of these nanowires and also the dimension of the nanowire, where the average length, width and height is 500, 15 and 9 respectively. If I click the cyclic voltammogram of the fission protein and the nanowire show that the nanowires retain their native reduction potential of the STCM, which was a constituent of the nanowire. And results from our electrochemical gating suggests that electrical conductivity occurs along the length of these structures and that the mechanism is of course cytochrome uh, mediated due to the presence of the redox protein as arrays along the length of the nanowire. Thank you.